what's up everybody, E Rivera94 bringing you another action figure review and taking it back to Marvel Legends. Here we have the newest Toys R Us exclusive action figure by Hasbro. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy Groot exclusive. Very cool. I got it early because I got it off a guy that sold it on eBay. He was actually from the US. It wasn't like from, you know, overseas or anything. Somehow this guy got it early before any retail store, before Toys R Us got it. Somehow he got it early, he sold it on eBay. I did pay more than retail for it, so there you go. I did not find him at retail, but it looks like he's gonna be out very, very soon. Like they're using the build a figure mold with a different head sculpt here, and then we do have Baby Groot's, two variations of Baby Groot. So it does not say Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 though, it just says Guardians of the Galaxy. That's interesting. Here on the side, we have a really cool picture that shows all three Groot, so as you see, it's called Evolution, so Groot Evolution. So I guess it's meant to be, you start with the um, the flower pot, then it goes to the baby Groot, then it goes to full grown Groot. So maybe we'll see full grown Groot at the end of uh, volume two, so that's pretty cool. On the back, we have uh, a picture of all three. As you see, there's no pictures of any other figures in the wave. Uh, so I guess it's not included in, I guess it's not included in the Guardians of the Galaxy volume two wave of Marvel Legends. Uh, there is a read-up on the back that says from potted pro from potted prodigy to towering tree-like humanoid, Groot uses powers of regeneration to become a legendary defender of intergalactic justice. So there you have it. Here's the other side. Now let's go ahead and get Groot out of the package. Alright, so here we have Evolution Groot out of the package, and very cool. So it's exactly the same figure as the build a figure. Um, I guess there's not much more you can ask. I mean, I, get, I some people might be bummed out by that, some might not, but I can say this. It does use the same mold and everything except for the head sculpt, but I can say that the paint is improved, greatly improved from the build of figure It's got more detail, more shading in it, and I'll show a comparison very soon. So, it does have that. And this is a regular release, you know, it's a $20 figure at, the, at, at Toys R Us, so it's not the build a figure price so if you don't want to pay 50 bucks for the build a figure for however much the build a figure is going for then you can just get this one for 20 so very interesting that they released this figure as a single release you know it's it wouldn't make no sense that they would have released it as a build a figure once again um but it's cool to see that they can pack in a huge figure inside a you know the same package size you can just you know detach the legs or a limb here and there and you know, make them attached and they fit in very snugly. Anyways, let's take a look at the accessories, which are the uh, the baby Groots. So here we have the baby Groot inside the flower pot. So very cool. You can see how they did the details on it. It's not that bad by Hasbro, honestly. Pretty good job, in my opinion. I think they did a pretty good job on this. Uh, they did put the little details there. But got, got the eyes, got the smile, got him dancing. So we got the dancing Groot. Very cool. This is, of course, a flashback to the first movie. So we have the dancing Groot inside the soup pot, inside the flower pot, and then we have baby Groot, which is how he's going to come out, or how we saw him in the movie trailer for Volume 2. So here he is. You can see that they painted him, uh, got the green moss on him, and got him sculpted out. So I think they did a decent job on him. Very nice. I like how they added the little details to this little guy. And his face came out very nice. So... Very cool that we have them. It doesn't seem like this baby Groot stands on its own, though. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's kind of hard to do anyways. So there's that. All right, so let's look over the articulation and details of this figure. You see the green moss painted on his face, his torso, his lower torso, his arm. We have some on his leg right there. We have some on his foot. So very cool amount of detail on that part. Here's the back and his bicep or tricep, I should say. There's behind his thigh. So very cool amount of detail on that. And then you can see if you just look at the, I guess, the leg here, the non-green, you know, moss parts, you can see that they painted the lines, you know, they shaded it. They have black shading on there. So that's very cool. You can see it right here on that little circle. And then on his bicep especially, you can see the black shading there. So very cool that they added that. The original build figure actually did not have any of that. So we'll see that in a second. Anyways, let's take a look at the articulation of Groot here. We have his face sculpt, which is a new face sculpt, by the way. The mouse will just show that real fast. He's got a smiling face, so that's cool. His eyes are nicely painted. That's very nice. Got the teeth there. So that's very cool there. Anyways, let's take a look at the articulation now, for real. And you got the head going left and right up not that much down not that much which sucks because he's a tall figure 
Um, so that sucks. The arms go forward and back, in and out. We have a bicep swivel. We have double jointed elbows right here. Swivel at the wrist with a hinge. Uh, diaphragm joint at the torso that does swivel. Crunches forward and back, not a lot, but it does have some movement there. Uh, legs are, are kind of weird. Uh, they kind of turn when you push, when you, you know, pull them forward. They turns the entire leg, so it's kind of weird if you see that. Uh, and then it does go in and out a lot, so that's good. So we have that. And then the this is where the cut is on the leg when he's in the package, so you got to combine the lower leg with the uh, thigh. So it does single joint bend right there uh, on both. And they do match up pretty nicely there, so it doesn't look like it's unnatural or nothing. And the ankles do have articulation, so the legs go, the ankles go down and forward, and they do have ankle pivot, ankle rockers, so that's very nice. All right, so here we have the comparison. Do you, can you tell which one is which? It's a very drastic difference. On the right, we have the new Groot figure. On the left, we have the Builder figure from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie wave, and you can see the difference. Just the difference in the detail in the moss as you they spread it on the entire figure on on the new one and that's good because they kind of just did it in the upper torso here and then on the face and that was it that's it it just didn't look you know it, it's just the rest of the figure was just blank so i like the new the new one covered in more green moss i like that it's not they didn't overdo it. it's not too much it's not overwhelming it's not and you know it's not like the big time um, Spider-Man figure that they spray that green like crazy. It's not like that. I think they did a good amount of green on this figure, and that's good. Um, as you see, they kind of pose the same. You see the different face sculpts. Uh, the original build figure looks like he was always sad. So there's his face. It looks like a sad face. Um, on the new one, he's happy. So, so I want to show you guys up close. You see the in the shading or the darkness they put into the eyes on the build figure here. It's just very dark around the black eyes, and the eyes are just black. Here they actually added pupils and actually made a brown, you know, they actually detailed the eyes. And then, of course, the eyeball is black, but then around the eye, like, the eyelids aren't as dark as this one. You can see how brown they made it around the eyes there. So this one, you can kind of make out his face a little better. Um, so it's up to you on which face you like, you know, which expression you like better but you can see the detail you can see the paint you can see the head how they painted the green on the little twigs on his head here and then it kind of goes just plain plastic on the build a figure on the legs here you can see the build a figure they do have some brown like paint details on the on the leg here and then but there's not really any shading like this one you can see the difference there hopefully you can pick that up on the feet especially let's see you can see the feet it's just kind of just plain plastic on the build a figure, and then we got some detail on the on the uh, on the non build a figure. You can see the green moss is just in the upper torso here, and then it ends, and then here just all the way through. You can see the back. They do have green moss on the back of the build a figure too. Uh, you can see the difference there. All right, so there you have it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this review on the new Toys R Us exclusive. Guardians of the Galaxy Evolution Groot. Very cool figure. I think you should pick it up, especially if you are looking to get the build a figure and you don't want to pay 50 bucks or more or whatever it's going for. Then go ahead and pick this one up for $20 at the store. Not bad at all. I like it. I really do like the improvements on it. The, the better paint, the better detail, and the, you know, the baby Groot. So it's very cool. And I like the new facial expression too. So very nice figure in my opinion. I like it. Um, if you like the build a figure, you're gonna like this one too. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You guys will like, and you guys have a great day. That's crispy.